for $8,000, you can have yourself this giant farmland and a beautiful house. Uh, it's like very typical Russian, I'm going to say. So yeah. Guys, the point I'm trying to make here is for less than $10,000, uh, you can have a house in Russia. How much does land cost in Russia? How can I find land in Russia? These are questions that many people have. If you're one of them, let me know down in the comment section because today that's what we're going to be looking at. The prices of land in Russia. And I'm going to be showing you an easy website to navigate. I don't speak Russian, but this uh, website's completely in Russian. I will be translating a few things for you so that you can navigate through it. And so if you're interested in knowing the prices of Russia, let's look at them now. Um, by the way, my third most watched video is actually on house prices in Russia. This is going to be an updated version of it, but having to do with land. Just like I said, guys, I don't speak any Russian, but this is the website Avito. A big shout out to my friend Vselovod for helping me decipher some of these things. You guys can easily do it. So this is the main page, and I'll tell you right away. Uh, this uh, first option here, you're going to look at, uh, it gives you what you're looking for. The first one is apartments. Uh, the second one is like just a room. Uh, dom is a house, dacha is, you know what a dacha is, and cottage, right? But we're looking for land. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is the right option. You have to go to that. Um, this is to buy or lease. We obviously want to choose the buy option, right? So this is the option. Now, for this third option, the first one lets you build a house legally with an address. This is the option that many people moving to Russia sh should choose, right? Because this is the most optimal one. This is the one that's going to let you register an address and you legally live there. Now, we don't do anything on this option here, but we do put a price range. Now, I'm going to put and I'm going to show you uh, the 600,000 rubles in US dollars is 6,400 and uh, it's basically $6,500 right now. And then uh, we're going to do from $6,500 to $15,000. We're going to see what we can find for that much money. So $15,000 is roughly 1,400,000 1, rubles, all right? So we're going to put that in. 1,400,000 rubles. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Those are the limits. Remember, guys, if you're watching from outside of Russia, uh, let me know if this is a lot of money. But anyways, the price range for us right now is $6,500 to $15,000. Now that we've put in all of the information, uh, you're going to want to click on this and it'll show you the map. So right now I have it on top for Sludanka. Uh, Sludanka, this is where I live, but we're going to look all over Russia. So you guys can get an understanding about what kind of land you can buy in different parts of uh, Russia. So we're going to click that and it should open up a map. And here it is. Here's the map. And I'm going to zoom out because I actually don't want... Uh, you guys to kind of get fix fixated on only my small part of Russia, which is right next to Lake Baikal. Um, so we're going to zoom out. And look at that. Look how much bubbles are there from our price range. Um, and this, of course, is all the way from Kamchatka, which is here on this peninsula, all the way even into Minsk because this website does sell land in other parts, but we're going to be concentrating on the Russian territory. Now, um, first of all, let's look something a little bit in Siberia first because it's less uh, populated. And if you want to go out in the middle of nowhere, this would be the place. So here in Irkutsk region, it would be a nice place. Here's one, one random bubble in the middle of nowhere. Let's look at it. So... Here it goes, guys. I'm going to break this down for you because you guys don't know what this means, this me the measurement that they have, right? Now, I'm not the smartest guy, but uh, again, my friend who I mentioned told me that one sot, here you can see sot, right? 
is 100 squared meters. So just one sot is 100 square meters. Here they're selling 6.5 sot. So they're selling 600 squared meters. Um, and let's look at the pictures. Let's, lo let's open it up. This, this is like the typical uh, dacha size, by the way. This is where most Russians live on a plot of land that has this much, 600 square meters. Um, and here, looking at the photographs, you guys get to see what the land is looking like. All right, obviously, this looks like this uh, is sitting next to a river. Um, there's a giant forest behind it. Siberia is full of forests. Um, it's already fenced. It looks like it has a neighbor next to it. There's electricity already. So this is definitely a place that you would move to if you're actually uh, trying to get away from society. Um, it does offer a, a more in-depth map here. Yeah, it's next to a river. Uh, the river Lena, Lena, something like that. And this is outside of a, outside of a, a small town in Siberia. So now you can see for 600... Uh, 605, uh, 650,000 rubles, uh, you can buy almost 700 uh, squared meters of land next to a river, right? To me, it's actually beautiful seeing the forest again. But that's the kind of stuff that you can find. You know what? Let's, Let's see what the land is like near the, Crimea, uh, the Crimean Peninsula because a lot of people want warmer weather, right? Uh, let's see what we can find. Um, here we can see the prices on the left, but out of, let's see here. What, what can we find here? All right. So some of these advertisements uh, are, are unrealistic. Like this guy is probably showing what you can build there. But this is 800,000 rubles for six sot. Um, I'm guessing that it costs more, obviously, because of location and weather. Let's see how much 800,000 rubles is in dollars. Guys, I'm going to be giving you the prices in dollars because a lot of people complained about that last time. That was my mistake for not doing it. So 800,000 rubles right now is roughly $8,600. Now let's see what it's looking like. All right, this is the 600 uh, squared meters of, of land that overlook the, the sea there. Now, to me, this is probably good if you have the money to invest. Um, it's showing that it has roads, right? These are the neighboring, the, the neighboring towns there. Um, you know, honestly, if you had eight thousand uh, dollars, you plant two trees and put a hammock up, and you can watch the the Black Sea. Again, this is just kind of stuff that they think that you could probably do. This is the town next door. Pretty cool. This is an example of what people do in this area. So, that's it. That's that's it for that one. 800,000 rubles, is it worth it? It's not my opinion to give. I mean, it's not my job to give you my opinion. I just want to show you and report the prices. All right, let's see what kind of land and how much it costs around Moscow area. We're going to go back here. And let's try to find something towards the top end of our limit. This one. 15 sot. That's quite a bit of land. That's actually a lot of land. And it's up towards the, our limit, uh, a little bit up towards our limit. 1,300,000 rubles. Let's see how much that is. 1,300,000 rubles. That's 13, well, that's basically $14,000, guys. $1,000 off of our limit. Uh, this, these pictures were taken in winter. 15 sot is quite a lot of, that's like two dachas, guys. That's a lot of land. Uh, this land seems to be having electricity. It's already fenced off. So for $14,000, you can basically buy a little bit of land outside of Moscow. Now let's look at the, the other map to see exactly where it is. 
you can see that it already has um, some housing next to it. All right, we're going to zoom out. Yeah, that's that's actually not far from the the airport, from this airport here. Demo, I can't even pronounce it, but guys, uh, if you don't want to live out in Siberia, but you want your privacy, look, here's an option for $14,000. Uh, I would say that it's not too far from Moscow because I have to fly a plane from Siberia for hours to get to Moscow. Here you can take a, a car ride to Moscow. Let me know in the comment section, would you rather live in Siberia? Would you rather live outside of a, a, outside of a town, outside of a city? You know, let me know. I, I think that for me, I would definitely buy land in Siberia. But now it's time to see closer to Moscow. We're going to start zooming in here. What's the closest we can get to Moscow? Here's this one. Okay, this one seems more realistic. Yeah, definitely seems more realistic. Why do I, why do I tell you that it looks more realistic? Why? Because it has way more pictures, has actual structure, and now let's see where it's located. It's probably located in like a vacant lot outside of Moscow. Uh, Moscow does have a lot of land that is being built up right now. When I was visiting, you know, it had new communities sprouting in the middle of nowhere. So basically what, what they're doing here is they're selling you uh, six sot for 810, uh, 800,000, 810,000 rubles. Let's see how much that is. That's uh, $8,700. Now what I'm guessing is because again, this, this here means that you can build on it. You can build your house there. You can have a, a physical address, right? So they're selling you 600, uh, 600 square meters of land where you can build a house. These are plots of land that you can build on. Very cool. It already has like a park for your kids. It has a road. So there it is. It's a community housing that I was looking for. This is the exact thing that I was talking about. And this is next to Moscow. So for almost $9,000, you can buy a plot of land in Moscow to start building. You can hop on this website right now. We're not gonna be looking at too many options, but you can certainly hop on a veto and start just going crazy. You know, in America, we have Craigslist. And one of the old things that I used to like doing is going on Craigslist and seeing what I could potentially buy. You can hop on, put any price range you want and start looking at land. I am not a rich person. Like I would be lowballing. you know, I'm going to be like 10,000 is my absolute top, but you can see guys, there's many options for below $10,000 for plots of land. So now let's continue looking. But just keep in mind that if you're coming from a country uh, that is selling like hundreds and hundreds of acres, you can also put that in on the on the website. But what I'm doing is, you know, looking at an average size house or plot of land and an average uh, price range. All right. For the people that want more land, we can actually put a filter on there that will let us uh, change how much land now. I got told that 100 sot is one hectare of land. So let's just go and change it. Let's actually just change it here. You can, on the options on the top right, where you choose what kind of stuff you're looking for. Here on the, it says sot, you see that? You can change it. So 100 sot is uh, one hectare. So let's look for Four hect from three hectares of land, three to four hectares of land, 300 sot to 400 sot. Now you saw the bubbles disappear, right? Now let's look at the map. Now the options are completely smaller for the price range. Remember, it's not because there's they don't exist, guys. It's because of our price range is very small from six hundred five from six thousand five hundred dollars to fifteen thousand dollars. Oh, there's something around Baikal. Let's see it. Let's go back to uh, around my region. This is in uh, Buryatia. 
So this is uh, three hectares of land for one million rubles. Let's see what it gets you. Now I've seen this land personally on the Trans-Siberian Railroad. This one comes with a house. Whoa. Already, it's already a farm. It's already being cultivated. There is a uh, cucumbers. If you're into farming, this would be a very, very, uh, very good place. They're doing tomatoes. So guys, first of all, let's see. One million rubles. Uh, yeah, so one million rubles is $10,800. For $10,800, you can get three hectares of land with a house. I mean, this, this house is already has everything operating. Um, the people are living there. They probably already have water from a well. <clears throat> You've already seen they have the farmland. Now, let's look at the ge geographical map. There is a main road. So yeah, this, this is the, it's south of Ulanude. If you don't know, Ulanude is the capital. So it does have an airport. This seems to be about an hour drive at least to the airport. It connects you to everything. Uh, the Trans-Siberian Railroad that goes into Mongolia actually goes south and it travels through that land. That land is very fer uh, fertile. I've seen it with my own eyes. Ulaanbaatar is there. That's Mongolia. So if your plan is to be next to Lake Baikal, uh, <clears throat> obviously there's a mountain range here, but there's Ulanude, the capital of Buryatia. And yeah, for $10,800 with the house, three hectares of land, I think is a good, it, it's a good deal. But again, my, my opinion does not matter. I said that this video was going to be about the land, but I've kind of exhausted uh, the search possibilities. You can input all the information that you want. You can keep looking. I think it would be really cool if you got to see a little bit of the, the houses, how they look. So let's get back into it. Here's our front page. You go here, not the auto. You want to go to the, to the buildings. Now here we want to change it from apartment to dom, to dom, dacha or the cottage. So we go there. We don't want to lease, so it's the first one. Uh, yeah, so let's just put strictly dom. So we really, really want a house. Now let's go look at the map. Um, let's put in our filter to the same price range, okay? So let's go 600,000 rubles, which is like uh, six six thousand five hundred dollars to one thousand four. Uh, I mean one million four hundred rubles, which is $15,000. If you have that amount of money already, you could probably buy a house in Russia. So this is Siberia. Let's look at the outskirts of Irkutsk, the capital of Irkutsk Oblast. Um, here we go. Outside of Irkutsk, there's pretty nice uh, villages that we can look at houses. So let's look at those. All right, here we go. This is a, an example of a Siberian house that you could probably afford. Now, yes, the structure is way different than what you probably expect, but these houses have been up for at least like 30 to 40 years. Um, let's look at the condition that they're in. It's, it's overlooking a nice plane. This is what the interior looks like. I'm so used to seeing uh, houses like this. So I'm not shocked. You might be shocked, but I'm definitely not shocked. Um, in my opinion, for one, this is a fifteen thousand dollars, almost six hundred squared meters. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this size is probably for like a dacha. Uh, that's like a dacha size house. Um, the land and everything, and it's probably in a dacha community. So let's get out of Siberia. Let's uh, go look at somewhere n a little bit more west. So let's zoom out, get out of Siberia. You're going to see the houses change looks. Look how many options there are for that much money. Let's look south of Moscow, a random, random town. All right, so here's a perfect example of what I was talking about. It has a little bit more, a uh, little bit more structure to it. Here you can see some bricks. 
Uh, the neighbors right next door. This is like a normal townhouse. Inside, it's looking not so bad. Uh, I want you not to judge so badly. You can upgrade the interior of the house. The Russian people, you know, in these towns, they have the, the wooden floors, uh, the carpets everywhere. I'm certainly used to it. You may not be used to it, but that's, I'm used to it. Um, this is for almost our limit, 1,250,000 rubles, which is, I'll tell you right now, it's like uh, $13,500. Uh, it's a very small plot of land, 200 squared meters. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, let's get out of that town and go somewhere else in the middle of nowhere to see if we could find something. There, there we go. Here we go. Whoa. So this house is sitting in over one hectare of land, almost two hectares of land. 70 sot. Perfect example of what I wanted to look for for you guys. Uh, this is 750,000 rubles. This is $8,000. $8,000 for a house and two hectares of land basically. Let's look at it. So this is what the house is looking like. Inside it's a huge upgrade. <laughs> it's a huge upgrade and then we get the typical Russian look. I love it. Oh man. For $8,000 you can have yourself this giant farmland and a beautiful house. Uh, it's like very typical Russian, I'm going to say. So, yeah. Guys, the point I'm trying to make here is for less than $10,000, uh, you can have a house in Russia. Again, the legality is another video. Uh, how hard is it to buy or be able to go to Russia? That's a, a, a topic for another day. We're going to continue looking at these houses. You know, Russia is massive. There's an almost infinite amount of, of locations that you could look because if you started looking today, you will run out of life until you saw all of them. So during your lifetime, it would be an infinite amount, right? Um, let's zoom in again and start looking anywhere. Um, again, you can move around Russia and fix your options. Here's a brick house with uh, 600 square meters. Let's, this is looking rough, but let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, not so many pictures, but this is 1 million rubles. Not worth it, guys. Not worth it. You know, there's a lot of people that get a little bit desperate and maybe uh, sell themselves short. Don't be that guy that says, okay, I have $10,000. I want to buy now, now, now. No, save up a little bit more money maybe. Travel to Russia as a tourist. See your options. Learn about the legality of things, all right? Don't, don't rush into buying land in Russia. A lot of these YouTubers that you see don't own anything yet. I don't own anything yet in Russia. So you definitely don't have to rush. If you're trying to move to Russia, there's many options. Uh, you'll never... Uh, run out of options in Russia. Here, I'm just looking at the different bubbles. Um, just, you'll never know if you strike gold. Here, 600 square meters for $800,000. A beautiful house, wooden house with a beautiful uh, green fence. Inside, it doesn't look that bad. That's probably like uh, on the side of the house here. Ooh, old style oven. These are the old ovens from Russia. And again, this is like a dacha community. A lot of the people, they live in like what we would call dachas because uh, a long time ago, this is the classic 600 square meters plot of land. This is the most iconic size number of land that you're going to be able to find in Russia. Uh, let's see, 800,000 rubles. Let's see how much it is. $8,500. So... That's just another example. And I don't want to bore you guys, but remember, avido.ru is the website. 
I have showed you how to uh, navigate through it. Now you can go look and now you can go spend hours and hours just looking at land, apartments, houses. Remember, if you don't know uh, what it what it uh, what it means, let's go back to the main page one last time and I'm going to show you avito.com. This is the option that you're going to want. This next to the car here. Okay, that's the one you're going to want. You click on it and one last time, the first option that it's already on, it means apartment. The second one is like a room. The third one is dom, dacha, and a cottage. So that's house, dacha, like a townhouse, and a cottage, just a random cottage, probably no water. And the, and the fourth option is land. I don't know what the other three are. So this is usually what you're going to want to pick is dom if you're looking for a house and the zemel something, this fourth option is land. Remember, no matter what you put, whether it's land or house, this one here, you don't want to lease. This one on the first one, kupit, it's, uh, it's, it's for, for buying. Don't touch the other one. Leasing is not for you. It's not good. All right? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. The next video, is going to be something that you probably never expected. But if you want to see more videos like this, comment below. I can emphasize a little bit more, slow down so you guys can pay attention. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.